I'm trying to get out of here and go chase me Yeah, my nigga, he need me Yeah, I'ma see us on TV and listen to news I got something to prove Yeah, we almost got something to lose Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We're in a different setting, as you can tell. Feel me in the basement with it. But today I'm gonna be trying to do some acrylic nails. Um, let's see how this turns out. You know, all the nail shops is closed, so you gotta do what you gotta do. But this is before y'all. We're gonna see after. I'm only doing one nail first, y'all. Open. Oh, it smells like what is that? Oh, it's a little crooked. I think I need more glue. Down the nails, you want to make sure that they're Which way it goes? Right this way? Mm, um, this way. Now I'm kind of able to start back doing nails. This way. Um, but again, remember that when How you are though. trimming down the nails, you want to make sure that they're all the right size. Good y'all. Uh, now I'm <laughs> able to like estimate it. But as you can see, I still go I like my nails long. The nails. Right, there, right, there, right there, right there. But you could use a nail form as a guide since they have numbers on them. Mm -hmm. And you could just kind of use that to measure the nails. That way you know that it's <laughs> the same size. Like it's crooked. Good. I was holding it. Okay. But now anyway. I'm going in with a straight edge nail clipper, which these are on my website as well. And we're just using this to trim down the side of the nails. Remember that when you're doing the nails, we are basically falling down. Ew. The side. Mm -hmm. No. Did I cut it too much? Cut it too much. I'm going to have to redo this. To do this right this time. This is a mess. Like, how do you make sure like, they're straight? Really long nails for 24 hours. How do they make sure they're straight? Like, I feel like my finger. I look stupid. I know they don't do this. The nails. We went ahead and just dust them off, and now I'm going in. Yeah, that's straight. That's straight. straight. And then clean around the cuticle area, which I always do, anyways. This one is just gonna go right in the middle. Why is it like that? It's gonna help build our apex. As you can see, every time that I'm on the cuticle area, because if not, we would get lit. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and continue doing this. Y'all, it's all right. How do you think? Again. If you're still having a you problem shake. with your liquid to powder ratio, it's pretty um, good. I do uh, now I'm kind of able to like guesstimate it. But as you can see, I still go oh, you see that. Right oh, spilling. That was clear. Give me the, um, the napkin. Down towards the tip, and then the sides up, making sure that the filling is nice and smooth before I go in and apply the next bead. Trying to make sure before I do it. It keeps getting too next bright. Go no, go put it brighter. It's better. Because then it stays focused. focused. But like, should I? Then you put it a little. And monomer, and for my brush, I'm using my she didn't even say, brush. okay, we're just going to do it. Go ahead. But as you can see, I place More my light. brush bead right in the middle where the natural nail and the tip Look up. meets. Brush it down towards oh, mind, the tip, do cleaning the sides up, Look making this. sure that the acrylic is nice and smooth. I'm sure I'm doing this. Oh, no, this. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Also, Actually, make sure no, I think that it's you good. Ah! Something on your side. Actually, never mind. That way you know exactly. Why are you so much? I think that's too much. As you can see, whenever I'm brushing the acrylic, it's like... It kind of looks dry. It's like I'm brushing... I should try first on the papers before I do it on my nails. Too hard or brush too hard. Oh, it was perfect. Yeah. No. Make sure that when you apply that bead closer to the cuticle area, that you place it really close to the cuticle area, but not right on the skin. Wait, which one goes first? They said. I think they said the middle. The middle. I, I've always. Oh yeah, you start at the middle and you drag it up. Using my alpha brush in a number nine, and I'll be sure to leave the bead right in the middle where the natural nail and the tip meets. Oh my gosh. Brush it down towards the tip, cleaning the sides I hurry up. up. Making sure that oh the acrylic is nice. No, you have to hurry up before it dries. I do, but I don't. 
Also, making sure that you look at your nail from different angles when you're doing this. That way, you know exactly oh where you need to brush, you know, the acrylic. I think it's good. But as you can see, whenever I'm brushing the acrylic, it's like I'm feathering it down. It's like I'm brushing super, super lightly. Because if you pat too hard or brush too hard, I feel like that's what makes the acrylic dry really fast. And this one I think that's good. Right but I feel like it was a little... what's going to help build our apex. Next one. So it's too far. Y'all can't one. tell me this ain't far. I'm gonna glue on the nails. Hopefully this glue don't get everywhere because I am not like how it was all over the place. That's gonna be too long for a like that though. Shorter. I didn't see it running. Dang it. I'm gonna start adding the primer and then I'm gonna start putting the acrylic again. My nail shapes, they're kind of iffy. I'm pretty much done with the acrylic and stuff. Got nail glue all over the place. I gotta fix that. Right. Yeah, you know, I have tried to file them too after. They look a little, I don't know how I feel about them. How you feel, Maya? Your thoughts on the shape? They're honestly good, to be honest. Except for, you know that, yeah, the one, the one next to the pinky is like, doesn't even look right. Yeah, Not it doesn't look right, but it doesn't look similar to the other one. Yeah, it's weird. I couldn't get I tried to get it back because I messed it up, y'all. And I couldn't get it. Yeah. Wait, I need to watch I wish this I could see this, right, like, so now look at these nails. I don't know what this is going to do. What if it messes up on this? I feel like it's not doing it. Not bad. I feel like it's firing you again. It's always the nail polish that ruins everything. I'm not good at doing nail polish first Me either. Anyway, so. Okay, you can still put your hand in there. Yeah. I'm gonna do a silver one and this one. Oh, it's gold. Why do it look gold to me while I'm tripping? Hmm? Not exactly. Oh, it's not, but like, when I'm like from different ways, it looks yeah. kind of gold. It's like, over here it looks gold, and then over here, like, if you, like, actually, like, this is thick. Look at the nails, both. Yeah, it looks both. 
for my thumb too because if you do it, I'm going to try. We should put a hole in all of our nails. If I just did all my nails, it would be easier. Uh -huh. I'm just sitting here like. Okay, this one's good. You can't lie, I said that was my good. Yeah. But you gotta fix that part right there. It's like, it's weird. Why do we keep doing that? Okay, this ain't that bad, y'all. Yeah, Look at them. I just need a. Y'all like, is good. I just need to do it again and then add another top on I mean, it. Another layer. Yeah, I'm about to see if I'm doing this right. What's the hair? What's the hair, y'all? Yeah, so this is my thumb. So basically, hold on, I'm put it back up a little. So basically, I'm done now. Look at it. Maya, how do you feel about them? Uh, it says three million times, but I love them. No, no, like one to ten. That's what I mean. For me, I give them an eight and a half. So I give it a nine because, to be honest, first of all, it's cute, okay? It's cute. And plus, you're literally just a beginner. So. Not like a beginner beginner, but you know. Yeah. Yeah, I am first of all a beginner. You can say that because that cheap stuff we're not finna clean. <laughs> <laughs> so one time, y'all, I had bought oh, off perfect. Wish. And yeah, it was not good. Don't buy off Wish. Oh, Got the actual stuff now. You ready to see my nails? Go ahead. The words of my hands are blessed. Oh, you did good. Said everything like, my yeah. hands do is going to be fruitful. It's going to multiply. Mm -hmm. It's going to establish dominion. It's going to... Good job, dear. So now I'm going to do this hand. And uh, my mom today, she bought a straight edge clipper. So now I'll be able to do my coffin easier. So like my shape might look different. And it might, it would have been easy if I had it on this hand, cause then my nails would have been so, this hand would have been so, the shapes would have been so good. Like, look at, look at the shape. Here's the net hand I just did. Here's the previous hand. Yes, y'all. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe. And comment down below what videos you guys would like to see. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Bye.